When we installed the pro version of Formidable Forms, we got access to some new settings panels, and we're going to go over those. And related, we're also going to look at some of the permission settings. And we kind of looked at those earlier, but we're going to take a closer look now. One of the new options is white labeling. And white labeling means unbranding this Forms plugin from Formidable so that uh, clients or customers or anybody you want can't necessarily see that it is formidable forms. And here's how it works. You can change the plugin icon, which is right here, to any of these things. So we'll change, we'll change it to that one. And then the plugin label, you can name it anything you want. So we'll call it forms. And there we are. It's, it just says forms now, and it has a different icon. Now, you may say, well, anybody can just go in here to the global settings and change it to anything. However, you can only do that right now if you're an administrator. If you're an editor, by default, you can't see anything. Here I have an editor account, and you can see there's nothing here for forms at all. So now I'm going to go here to permissions, and we had access to this earlier, but now we're going to make some changes. So in order to just view forms, I'm going to add editor and reload over here. And now you see it just says forms. And there is nothing really to indicate that this is formidable forms. And they can preview, but they can't edit. They can't look at entries. They can't do anything else. Okay, so let's add some things that make sense for an editor. We want them to be able to view entries. That makes sense. And if they're an editor, we should be able to add and edit forms and delete forms. We also, for view forms, want authors to be able to view, but only view. So now we click update. Reload, and here are entries. And if you go to forms, you can see you have add new, we can edit them, etc. And we can even import and export forms. We'll look at that more deeply in another video. Um, I don't have an author account to show you how they can only view, but we saw that just a few moments ago. So white labeling in combination with permissions can be quite powerful in making formidable forms look like something else. The last thing I want to look at is your inbox. Uh, the inbox actually is over here on the left, and I don't have any messages at the moment. But if I go back to global settings and look at the inbox settings, you can see what my options are. Now, your inbox is messages sent to you from formidable forms from the people you bought the plugin from. And they can send you sales and promotions, new features, and requests for feedback. Uh, and if you don't want those, you can simply turn them off right here. Um, and then you have an option to show unread messages count in menu. I would recommend keeping the new features on because they will be adding things to the, to the product you bought and you will get new options. And uh, personally, I would be I would want to be made aware of them. Um, and they are coming to this inbox. It's not like they're coming to your email. So we'll click update right there. So that's it for the for the new options that we got with the pro version. You can white label, and you can manage your inbox settings. Uh, and the white labeling is especially powerful when mixed with permissions.